guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the reading habits book tag. Not much else to say, um, it's not my tag again. Okay, so apparently the thing is that the original tag was by a channel who's actually no longer on YouTube, so I can't link the original video. So yeah, but it's just a book tag that anybody can do on YouTube, so yeah, okay. Moving on, let's start off with the first question. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? I have many places. Um, one of them is right here. I really like to read just right here. Um, I also like to read under my bed because I have a loft bed. Um, yeah, I read downstairs on the couch, like wherever. I don't really have a certain place. Up here is my favorite place, but yeah, I don't have to be here in order to read. So yeah. Moving on to the next question. So, bookmark or random piece of paper? So for me, it's actually neither. So call me a geek or a nerd or whatever you want, but what I do when I finish off whatever, then I look at the page number and then I memorize some kind of addition fact or multiplication fact or subtraction fact of that. And the answer is the page number. Yeah, I know, call me weird or nerdy, whatever you want to say, but um, I started that when I was about like 10 I think because it helped me get in my multiplication tables in place more, but yeah, and now I just kind of am unable to stop, <laughs> but um, if I was not able to do that, then I'd be a bookmark person for sure. I believe in bookmarks. I have a lot of them, but yeah, and mostly just the multiplication fact thing is just an easy thing. You don't need to carry around a bookmark because I find that like when I'm reading I have to like either hold the bookmark like with my hand on the back of the book or like hold it in their hand or like leave it there on the side or something. Moving on to the next question. That's number three. Can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain number of pages? So I don't know. It depends on the book. Certain books I can just stop. Um, I'll memorize the page number, the, the fact that leads to the page number, whatever, and then leave it. But some books, like <laughs> the really good ones, I need to like get through a certain amount before I go. So yeah, I don't really have like a certain number of pages. Like I don't have, oh, I must read 70 pages before I can do something else. No, I just read whenever I have time for however long I have time for it. So yeah. Moving on to question number four. So do you eat or drink while reading? I do. Um, if I were to drink, it's probably like water. I literally just drink water um, while reading. For eating, I don't eat while reading a whole lot because usually I read up here and my parents don't let me like have food in my room. So just for like vacuuming purposes and cleaning etc so if i were if i'm reading downstairs sometimes i'll like snack while reading um that's mostly because like i don't want to put my book down to go eat a snack so it's time saving okay moving on to the next question so question number five multitasking do you listen to music or watch tv while reading uh no frankly that's just too distracting um music maybe depending on depending on what kind of music I mean, if it's like some kind of music with like no words, just like a really peaceful, instrumental, like ambient music, then I think that I think that would be fine. Um, again, depending on, I feel like music can help set your mood depending on what kind of book you're reading. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to like nature sound music while reading like a mystery, um, and I wouldn't listen to like exotic, adventurous music while reading like. I don't know, some other kind of tamer book. Um, but yeah, and TV, definitely not. How do you watch TV and read at the same time? You can't like pay attention to your book and watch TV at the same time. That just doesn't make sense. So no, I've never watched TV while reading. One book at a time or several books at once? Usually one book at a time. Sometimes I can do two books. I've done three before. Um, it depends. Like. For example, right now, technically I'm reading two books at the same time, although I don't really count it as two because one is for school. Um, I'm reading Emma by Jane Austen, and yeah, that's for school. It's a book study unit, um, and I don't really count that because like, they literally have you read two chapters a day and then answer like a bunch of questions and write a little something. Um, so yeah, I don't really count that. If it would 
be like actually reading, reading, then usually one book at a time. It depends. Again, like sometimes I can do like if I'm reading one new book, um, and I have like another series that I've been like rereading, but then I got the new book and I don't want to like stop the series that I'm rereading to start reading the new book. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, sometimes I'll do something like that. Um, or library books, like for example, um, I'll have like, again, been like rereading a series or like reading something and then I get books from the library and then I'm like, okay, well, you don't have to return these by so and so. I usually don't renew books, by the way, I just like read them in the period of time that I have with them. So yeah, I'll just like read the library books and my other books at the same time. <laughs> well, like, not like the same time side by side, because that's, no, it's just way too complicated. But you know, I'll switch up the course of the day. That's basically what it is. Okay, so next question, um, number seven. Do you read at home or can you read anywhere? I can read anywhere. I mean, like, again, I don't have to be at home to read. Um, I've usually even, like, out and about, like, traveling, like, I don't know, for example, if you're, like, taking the train or something, um, then I would, like, use a Kindle, use a Kindle on my phone, um, to read. Um, if we were on an airplane, usually I bring, like, regular books and read there. Um, yeah, I can read anywhere, pretty much, so, yeah. Um, moving on to the next question, number eight. So, do you read out loud or do you read silently in your head? I read silently in my head. I don't know, reading out loud, for example, like, I wouldn't read out loud if there were, like, other people in the room with me and they are like, doing stuff. Um, I don't want to, like, interrupt them or anything or distract them from whatever they're doing. Um, so yeah, I just read silently in my head. Besides, I read faster when I read silently in my head and I feel like I, I almost understand it better because, like, I can just imagine the dialogue because like when you say it it's not the same like when you say it you can't say it how you are how you're envisioning the characters in the book to be saying it if that makes any sense I don't, I don't i don't think i'm making any sense here i'm just rambling um moving on so question number nine do you ever read ahead or skip pages not really i mean i'm not like the person who reads the last page in the book before reading the first page because usually i can't understand the last page anyways because like it's like wrapping up the entire book, so yeah, I just read straight through. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll like, again, <laughs> there's this one book um, where like, it, it was switching between multiple characters' point of, points of view, um, and the author really likes to just like leave you on a cliffhanger from that character's point of view, and then start off on another on a different character's point of view. Um, so there's a time when I just like skipped one character's point of view chapter to see what happened after the cliffhanger of the other character's point of view. Again, don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. That's like one occasion. I don't do it regularly. So yeah, moving on to the next question. Um, number 10. Breaking in the spine or keeping it like new? Okay, keeping it like new. I hate it when people break the spine. Okay, hardcover books, it's fine because like you can't like, unless you bend it in an abnormal way, then you don't break the spine. Um, but, like, soft cover books, I hate when people break the spine, okay? Um, for example, oh, here's a very good example. Um, the first Keeper of the Lost Cities book, um, the first time I read it, it was beautiful and pristine, like my name. Okay, it was beautiful. But then, both of my siblings read it, and they destroyed it so bad. Okay, like, honestly, there are so many creases. Okay, it's literally, like, physically paining me right now to look at this. Um, but yeah, keeping it, like, new. And I also hate it when, like, I, I let people borrow my books, and then they, like, dog-ear the corners, or, like, I don't know, destroy it. So, yeah. I do, I do let people borrow my books. But again, I'm just always so paranoid that something is gonna happen to them. And I don't know why people feel the need to break in the spine. Like, why do you need to break in the spine? Could you just, like, read it like a normal person? Like, anyways, um, that aside, <laughs> let's move on to the next question. So, do you write in your books? I this is the last question. Um, do you write in your books? The answer is no, I do not write in my books. That's, like, an act of sacrilege defilement no just kidding not that extreme um but yeah no i don't write in my books um okay the red wall series was like the first major book series that i read when i was like eight 
and since I didn't know any better at the time, there's these like black and white illustrations and I would like color them in. Um, but now, of course, obviously looking back on it, that was awful. My coloring is awful, okay? So, yeah, I have never touched a pen or a pencil or a marker or any form of writing instrument to a book ever since. Well, there's that one time when I, wrote, when I wrote my name in one of the books, but okay, but that's um, in the past. That's when I was nine, so we can leave that over there. Okay, so yeah, that was the last question, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!